Hey everybody, it's Miss Gretchen. How are you? Did you have a wonderful weekend? I hope you did. It was beautiful, except a little bit on Sunday. It was a little rainy, but remember we are in the season of spring. So we're gonna have some warm weather coming up and some rain. We'll talk about that next week a little bit about that fun rain, but we are in the season of spring. Do you remember what month we're in? April. Very good. Shall we see what day we're on now? Ready to do some counting? We're about halfway through the month. So it's a lot of numbers. I know you can do it. Ready? And 20, good job. Hey, if today's number is 20, what was yesterday's number? 19. If today's number is 20, what will tomorrow's number be? 21, very good. Let's see what day it is. It is a Monday. Ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. If today's day is a Monday, what will tomorrow's day be? Tuesday. Good job. So, not a whole lot going on this month. But are you ready to get started on some activities? All right, let's get started with a little map man. Okay? Let me hear you sing. Okay, your favorite song is next. Good job, puppies. Smell. 
what letter we're on this week. Help me out here. Are you ready? And Y. We are on the letter Y. So, what do we need to make the letter Y? You are going to start your letters at the top. The first thing you need is a little line. A little line down on a diagonal. So, little line down, you're going to hop back up to the top, and you're going to make a big line down, going the other way, okay? Little line to the center, right at the belly, hop back up and make a big line down, and that's the letter Y. Did you notice I did something different with Matt Man today? Normally, I always put his arms down. I put his arms up this time because he's going, yay! And that word, yay, when you get so excited, starts with the letter Y. So I thought it'd be fun to put his arms up today. Yay! It's the letter Y. The first activity I have for you is going to be with the letter Y and a collage, kind of an art project. Print out this letter page, it has the letter Y on it, and you are going to make a yellow collage. So grab some old magazines, some grocery store flyers, anything you have. You might even have some art supplies around your house. So start off with your crayons or marker. I have a yellow crayon and I'm going to make the letter Y. I'm going to kind of trace it 
I'm gonna color a little bit more in. Just like we did when we made it in Matte Man. Little line at the top, a uh, little line from the top to the center, hop back up to the top, and do a big line down on the diagonal there. So I made the lettered Y yellow. Now I'm going to add some yellow things to it. I found some yellow tissue paper. So you might want to tear off some pieces. Grab your glue. Just put a little, put a few things on there. You might have some string. I didn't think about that. You could find some string. Um, I found a couple of pictures. Let's see. This one is of a pair of yellow pants. So let me cut her yellow pants out. I'm gonna put that on my Y collage. Let's see, oh, look what I found. It's not the letter Y, but it is a yellow letter. So it's a yellow Q, but I'm gonna put that on my yellow collage. And guess what else I found? Some stickers, so there's lots of yellow flowers going on there. So, have fun searching for yellow things to put on your yellow Y collage. The next activity I have for you has to do with the letter Y in a way. It's going to be a fun one. The word is yuck. Yuck starts with the letter Y. And I thought it'd be fun to do something with yucky bugs or yucky insects. How's that sound? So, do you know the difference between a bug and an insect? Well, let's talk about insect. An insect has three different parts to its body. It has a head, Actually, let's do this. I'm gonna color these parts as we go along, okay? So the head, I'm gonna make it a pink head. So there's our head. The next part of an insect is the thorax. That's kind of like your middle right here, kind of like on that man but it's a little bit different from yours. Ah, so let's color this one, the thorax. Can you say that word, thorax? That is the middle part. Okay, you see that? You have the head, the thorax. Now, this last part of the bug, the insect, excuse me, is called the abdomen. Your tummy is your abdomen, but on an insect, that's the bottom part, okay? So, can you say abdomen? I'm gonna color this abdomen on my bug, my insect. Insects have three parts, okay? Head, thorax, abdomen on an insect. A bug only has two parts, that's why. So, on your insect, they have three body parts. Let's talk about the things on the head. Insects have these things called antenna. And did you know that antenna are the way that the insect feels and smells. In their head, they have a brain and they have eyes and a mouth, but they don't have a nose. And that's where their antenna come in. Okay? So on the head, they have a brain, eyes, a mouth, and antenna to smell and feel. So two more little things with an insect 
is, let's see, they have, actually, how many legs do you have? Two. How many legs does your dog or cat have? Four. Guess how many legs an insect has? Six. Six legs. Can you imagine walking with six legs? So I'm gonna color each one of my insect's feet, legs, okay? So there are six legs on my insect, and that is on the thorax part, okay? Then the last thing that, actually the legs might be between the thorax and the abdomen. On this bug, on this insect, they are on the thorax. So the other, the very last thing for an insect is that they have, they have to get around somehow, not only by their legs, but how else can they get around? By flying. Ooh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this one. Ooh. I might have to make it a little bit darker. An insect has wings. Sometimes they have two sets. That means sometimes they have four wings, okay? So, the three body parts are the head, thorax, abdomen, and they always have antennae, wings, and six legs, all right? So there is your insect. I have a book. You might want to look up on the internet, but I was just peeking through my book of insects and in here they have 35 different types of flies. Can you believe that? There was a grass fly, a moth fly. There was a dance fly. Do you think that dance fly goes to dance classes? I wonder. There's long-legged flies. All kinds of black flies. There's 35 different kinds of flies. So if you want to look up some things on some insects, like bugs, you might want to go to the internet and you bet you can find some really cool pictures. So the activity I have for you today dealing with insects is a sorting game. And it has wings or no wings. So when you get this printed up, you or mom or dad can cut out the bugs and insects at the bottom and sort them. So here is a fly. It has a Head, wings, thorax, has, and it has wings. That's the main thing. So, put it in the pot, in the column that says wings. Here is a caterpillar. Does that have wings or no wings? No wings. So, use the little pictures that they give you. Well, you know what? You might have some plastic bugs at home somewhere and you can add them to your wings or no wings category when you sort them out. The last two activities I have for you today have to do with tracing, a little bit of cutting and maybe some coloring, but the main thing is tracing. So don't forget to practice writing your name two times today because practice makes better, okay? And then the other tracing page I have for you is a little cut, glue, and trace. And then you can color if you want, like I said. So you'll need to print this page up and it has the four boxes and then four items at the bottom. So you will cut those four items off into the little squares. I bet you can do that. You're getting good at cutting. So, 
you need to see which one of these animals or insects or bugs eats a fly. Does a caterpillar eat a fly? Does a bunny eat a fly? Does a frog eat a fly? Yes. So once you figure that out, find out which one it is, put a little glue on your frog. You're gonna stick them in that box, okay? And then you are going to grab a marker or a pen and you are going to trace from the frog all the way to the fly. Remember, take your time when you're tracing. Do your best job ever so the frog eats the fly. Who eats a leaf? And you can keep going on with the other three until you're all done. And then if you want, you can color the page. Do you remember how Map Man had his arms up and he was going, yay? Well, there's another word that starts with the letter Y and it's yes. Sometimes when you ask a question, you always hope that the answer is yes. Well, this little guy, that's what's happening with him. What do you call a day when every answer is yes? Call it yes day. So on this calendar here, he has answers. We'll see. Nope, not today. Absolutely not. Maybe tomorrow. But all the way down here at the end of the month, he finally gets his yes day. See it? He's so excited. Yes! Today is my favorite day of the year. Yes day. Just watch. You'll see what I mean. Can I please have pizza for breakfast? Can I use your hair gel? Say cheese. Can I clean my room tomorrow? Later, mess. Going to the grocery store. Can I pick? Hmm, I wonder what he's going to pick. Puff sugar cereal, cocoa crisp cereal, marshmallow fluff cereal, cookie dough cereal. Are those good choices? Are bad choices. Can we get ice cream? Yes. Can I eat my lunch outside? That's an interesting way to eat it, isn't it? <laughs> Can we have a food fight? The dog likes that one, huh? Can we invent our own game? Ah! <laughs> Can I have a piggyback ride? That's always fun. Can Mario come over for dinner? Can we stay up really late? Yes. Does this day have to end? What do you think? Yes. The end of yes day. But he says, I'll see you next year. 
So what would be the one question you hope the answer is yes to? Well, my friends, that's all I have for you today with the letter Y and yucky bugs. But guess what? We're going to keep doing some more stuff this week with those yucky bugs and insects, okay? I hope you enjoyed today. I miss you guys. I hope you're doing well. And, oh, we're going to have some yucky rain this week, I think. But it'll be good for all of our plants and flowers. And so... Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in a couple days, okay? Bye.